Dennis with Denlors and Wise Auto Tools. I wanted to cover a couple of common questions that we have about the TimeCert 5553 kit. Uh, a lot of guys would like to be able to utilize as many threads as they can in the insert and try to get away with, from the Ford problem of having just four or five threads in the, uh, in the hole for the spark plug. Uh, the original uh, insert, the 51459, that comes in the, the 5553 kit is only partially threaded and only has threads uh, that duplicate the original threads in the head on the Fords. Now this insert is a lot stronger than the aluminum head so you'd actually be fine uh, using this insert. It would be stronger than using the original threads that are aluminum in the head. But I understand the concern. A lot of people want to be able to utilize all threads possible to try to make it as strong as they can. So there is an optional insert, the 51457 insert, that can be used with the 5553 kit. Uh, we have those available. Sometimes if we are shipping this from our particular location, we can switch them out for you. Uh, other times they would need to be purchased separately. You can give me a call and I can tell you if that's an option or not. Um, the other thing is, if you're using the fully threaded insert, you would need to use an installation ring. This is the 51484A installation ring. Now this goes on the installer. When you're installing the insert, if you are using the, well first of all, if you're using the original insert, the 51459 insert, uh, then you can just use that right on the installer with no problem. If you're using a fully threaded 51457, you have to put the installation ring on first. This is going to prevent the upper threads of the insert from being damaged when you're installing it. Uh, another common question that we have is um, why, are the, why are the sizes of the taps for TimeCert uh, a secret? Well, they're not really a secret. Uh, if you're asking that question though, that tells me that you're trying to do the job without the complete kit. And, uh, after people understand that there is more to it than, than just threading a, a tap and installing an insert, just threading it in, uh, then they, they understand why they need the kit. Now with this kit, you've got a counter bore. The counter bore there is going to allow like a little recess um, as well as the reamer. This is not just a regular drill bit as you can see. This is a a professional reamer, you know, it's made in the United States, it's designed very well, engineered well. Um, this is also going to allow a recess for the upper lip of this insert. So that's a couple of things. The other thing that, um, well besides the, the tap, which is the common question, people think they only need the tap, uh, but the tap has to has to have a round hole, has to have, have the hole prepared properly for them before or before you can use the tap. Uh, but okay, once you make the, the threads for the insert to accept the insert, then one other step that nobody ever thinks about hardly unless they're familiar with time cert is the installation driver. Now the installation driver is going to actually finish the bottom of the threads inside the, the internal threads at the bottom of the insert as, as well as expand the insert from the bottom. Uh, when it does that, that helps lock it in and it also obviously completes the threads. The threads are only partially formed so you need this cold rolling action to be able to install it properly. I uh, hope that answers a lot of the concerns and questions that we, we have a lot. Um, and if I didn't answer your question, you can either answer it or ask it below, and I'll try to answer it there for you. Or you can give us a call at 800-734-8665. My extension is 251.